What's up, everybody? It's Trey Smith, one half of the Blue Bloods College Game Time Podcast. We drop college sports content every single day on this channel. Today, we're going to get into Coach Prime. Coach Prime calling his shot and nailing it. Nailing it. Hit it out of the park. So before we get into it, go ahead and hit subscribe right now. Hit subscribe. All right. Coach Prime, the legendary Hall of Famer Deion Sanders, current head coach at Jackson State University, flipped the number one overall recruit in the country today, who was previously committed to Florida State, Deion Sanders' alma mater, mind you, and he decided, no, I'm not going to Tallahassee. I'm going to go join Coach Prime in what he's building down there at Jackson State University. He said that uh, the young man, Travis Hunter, number one overall recruit. He's a cornerback, in case you didn't already know that. His exact quote was, he wanted to be a part of the future. He's making the decision so that he can be a light, so that he can light the way for others to follow, make it a little easier for the next player to recognize that HBCUs may be everything you want and more, an exciting college experience, a vital community, and a life-changing place to play football. Man, if if Coach Prime hasn't already made enough waves in the time, the short time he's been at Jackson State, this one set the world on fire. This was probably the biggest surprise, the biggest flip in signing day history. Watch out for this, guys. I'm telling you, Jackson State, one, I'm looking forward to them competing in the FCS playoffs before too long. And if Coach Prime stays over the long haul, there's no telling what other um, leaps and bounds that that program is going to make. But I was thinking about this decision by Travis Hunter, and it really isn't that bad of a decision. It's actually a great decision if you look at what he's walking into. First off, he's the number one corner in the country. Going to a program who's coached by arguably the greatest corner to ever play the game. To ever play the game. Who's not just some new, you know, oh, just decided I'm going to try my hand at coaching. No. He used to have Little League programs in Dallas, Texas that had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and probably thousands of kids that he coached from young to all the way through high school. He's teaching fundamentals. He's not just someone, Deion Sanders I'm talking about, he's not just someone that was a great player. He's also a great teacher and a great coach when it comes to teaching those little things as it pertains to the position that he was a master of. So what great, what, what, what better mentor for the number one corner, the number one recruit to go learn under? Also, what you may not know watching this video is that the defensive coordinator at Jackson State is Dennis Thurman. Okay, Dennis Thurman was a former Dallas Cowboy back in the late 70s, mid 80s, from the late 70s to the mid 80s. Okay, and then he became a staple, longtime defensive coordinator in the NFL. And if my memory serves me correctly, I believe he was the defensive coordinator for the Baltimore Ravens the, the, the couple years that Deion Sanders came out of retirement and played for the Ravens. So that guy, you've got a former NFL player, slash longtime NFL defensive coordinator as your DC at Jackson State. You've got the greatest corner, a Hall of Fame corner as the head coach. What better situation from a coaching standpoint could he have stepped into? And then obviously it looks like, uh, or it sounds like, I mean, this may just be a rumor, but it sounds like he's going to get a pretty lucrative deal with uh, either Barstool Sports or one of the uh, affiliates through the the NIL, name, uh, name, image, likeness. So, It definitely shook up signing day. It definitely made it a fun one. It's by far the story of the day. And uh, it's just even more momentum for a Jackson State program that's already thriving. That that team over there isn't surviving. They are thriving. They're 11-1. and They're set to play South Carolina State in the Celebration Bowl down in Atlanta. Shout out Coach Prime. I've been showing you guys love uh, since day one. Since we started the Blue Bloods College Game Time Podcast. Go listen to episode one. We were shouting out Jackson State and Coach Prime. We were talking about Shador. We were talking about Shiloh. We were talking about some of the other players and what they're building over there. 
talked about the docuseries they did through uh, 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 Barstool Sports that was released on YouTube. So, so much good things happening at that program on and off the field. And then now, obviously, they're continuing to shake up the game in recruiting. I- I'm all for it, man. I'm here for it. I know everybody's going to have their different takes on it. Go ahead and put it in the comments. If you know, What are your thoughts on it? Do you- I'm sure there's going to be some people on here that are mad about it. There's going to be some people on here that agree with me. There's going to be some people here that are happy about it. Put, put your thoughts and feelings down there. Let's argue about it. Let's agree on it. Let's talk about it. Let me know your thoughts about this. Did it shock you as much as it shocked me? And, uh, hey, man, be looking out for these boys because, like I already said, this program, I wouldn't be shocked if they're able to compete in the FCS playoffs before too long. And then even from there, who knows what types of leaps and bounds they could make if Deion Sanders continues to keep them on this trajectory. That's it. Hit subscribe. Peace.